Annyeong, this is Nuna Army. So today we'll be talking about how to set up your BTS or K-pop binder for your photo card collection. So if you haven't seen my other video or you don't know this about me, I actually use a top loader system to store my photo cards and I have a video talking about that system which I'll link somewhere here. But as my collection has grown and I've started to collect a wider variety of photo cards and the volume of photo cards has really just increased i i wanted to introduce a binder system to my storage solutions as well you know because the top loader system while it was great at really protecting the cards and allowing me to be able to like pick up the cards with full confidence that they won't get damaged it does take a lot of space so I just wanted to start my own photo card binder for my BTS photo cards to be stored a little bit more effectively. Um, I can save a little bit more space while at the same time still enjoying the photo cards that I have. Now there are a lot of videos on YouTube talking about this, how to store photo cards and whatnot. And I've also done a lot of research. I've planned a lot <laughs> for this binder setup that I'm doing. So I just wanted to do this video to share some of the learnings that I have, what supplies I've had to get to be able to set up the binder. Um, and hopefully that helps someone out there who's starting their own photo card binder. This is going to be specific to BTS because I personally just collect BTS photo cards. I only started collecting in August this year. Um, it's now October. So I'm not an expert at all, but I think, you know, I have enough knowledge for any beginner out there because I am a beginner myself in collecting photo cards just to be able to share that and help those those beginner photo card collectors. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you out and uh, let's get right into it. So I'll first be talking about the different materials, I would say an overview of the materials that I have gathered. And then later on in the video, I'll go through each type of photo card that I have for, for BTS and just talk about which sleeves and pocket pages work well for that particular photo card. So the first thing you'll need is a binder. And this is just an Avery binder that I got from Amazon. And it's a three ring binder. And I do recommend a three ring binder because a lot of the pages that Ultra Pro and BCW, which are manufacturers of binder pages, they make their pages with three holes. So it just is easier for you if you have a binder that has three holes so that they're compatible with the pages. Now, the other thing that you'll need are pocket pages. So these are sheets like this that have little pockets to insert your photo cards in. And with anything, I said this also in my other video, with pocket pages, these soft sleeves that we'll be using later on, just make sure, they could be any brand, but just make sure that they are acid-free, PVC-free, just to make sure that you're preserving the cards, you're not damaging the cards that you're storing in them. And it's just something to take note of because you can use whatever brand that you have access to, whatever size to fit the photo cards that you need. But one thing's for sure, for both the pocket pages and the sleeves, the soft sleeves that you choose to use, they need to be acid-free and PVC-free just to keep your cards safe and damage-free. Now, there are different types of pocket pages. I personally just chose to go with Ultra Pro, um, the Platinum series. I think it's just a brand that's really known for storing memorabilia uh, really, really well. A lot of photo card collectors use Ultra Pro. And for a good reason, because they're really well made and they're just proven to to work really well for storing your your photo cards and other things that you want to preserve. So there are different layouts. I have quite a few right here. So we'll start off with like the one pocket page Ultra Pro sleeves. These have lines underneath them. So I don't know if that will get picked up. So it's not actually the entire page that can get filled up. It's only up to here. There's also a one pocket page without the line, which is much bigger. It's just good to have a variety of pocket pages to be able to suit, you know, the layout that you want and the different cards that you want to store. And then we also have three pocket pages, which I think is quite interesting and very useful. I'll actually be using quite a few of these in my binder setup. 
So two of the pockets are portrait and then one is in landscape and I believe they're all about like four by six inches. And then we also have four pocket pages by Ultra Pro. Um, they're actually quite small. They're three by five inches wide and I think five inches high. I also have another brand of four pocket pages here. These are BCW. They are wider than the Ultra Pro, so the, they are four inches across and then still five inches high. And then we have the Ultra Pro eight pockets, which is one of those like must have sleeves that you need if you are collecting BTS photo cards. Then we have the nine pocket pages, which is another must have pocket page style for anyone collecting BTS photo cards. Now, for me personally, I don't want to store the photo cards in the pocket pages naked. I still want them protected with any uh, a type of like soft sleeve that will just like add another layer of protection to the cards. So I have them here and as you can see, I have quite a few varieties of brands and sizes. So I have some Ultra Pro ones. They're okay. To be honest, they're actually not my favorite because they're very thin. Um, well, I say very, but in comparison to the other photo card sleeves that I use, they're, they're quite thin. Um, but having said that, they are still good for preserving photo cards. And these are the two sizes that I have, the 4x6s and then the postcard size sleeves. And then I have these KMC Card Barrier Series Perfect Hard Sleeves, which are really much thicker, um, but at the same time, they sit, still fit very well within the pocket pages. And then I have a variety of Sleeve King sleeves, which are great for different kinds of photo cards. I'll talk more about it again in detail later on, on which sizes of the sleeves and pocket pages work for the different types of photo cards. So now let's get into the different types of BTS photo cards that I have. What I'll be doing is I'll share one example of, of a photo card like this. So this is an album, is this an album? Yes, an album mini photo card. I'll have a little index card at the back showing the size. I think this is really, really helpful because while I'll try my best to link all of the supplies that I have and see if there are links that are available for for you guys to purchase them, I'll do that. I'll, I'll really try, but I think it's easier to just have the measurements of the photo cards and then you can find the solutions that will fit you, that will fit your purpose, and more more importantly, that you have access to. So let's start off with album and DVD photo cards. So I have this one here, which is from Map of the Soul 7, The Journey. Um, and album and DVD photo cards do um, fit this, I would say, size bracket. Um, most of them do. So they're, they, they're about um, 84 to 85 millimeters high and then 54 to 55 millimeters wide. I'm using millimeters just because it is much more precise. So for this type of photo card, the sleeve that I use are these KMC Perfect Hard Sleeves. So these ones. And then I use a nine pocket uh, page for that. So I'll just show you how that will look like. They will fit perfectly, um, really snug so they won't slide out. There's no like wrinkling or anything, so yeah. Now the next one is uh, quite a specific card type. So it's the Wings Tour Mini PC. And normally Tour, tour Mini PCs for BTS are bigger than this, but for some reason, the Wings Tour mini PCs are smaller. So they are 90 millimeters high and then 60 millimeters wide. And for this one, similar to the album photo cards, I use, I will be using the nine pocket page and it will look like this. Now we have the Tour mini PCs, which are bigger than your album and DVD PCs. They are 100 millimeters high and then 70 millimeters wide. Now the solution for this, I, I 
I don't know, this is the perfect solution for me right now. If I find something better later on, then I'll adapt to that. But for now, what I will be doing is I'll be using these eight pocket pages. Now, the problem that I have with the eight pocket pages, and I'll just open this up to really illustrate the point, is that while they will fit, Now, the problem with the eight pocket pages is that they fit the cards right, um, but there will be a little bit of overhang on the side. Um, so you really need to sleeve them really, really tightly. And I haven't found the perfect soft sleeves to fit this, but as you can see, this card and like my other tour cards do have soft sleeves already. They're in soft sleeves. I'll just take it out so you can see. And I had to make these myself, basically. So then I had to find soft sleeves that match the width of the photo cards, which is 70 millimeters. And I found this from Sleeve Kings. Um, I got this from a gaming shop here in Singapore. Um, and then I just had to make sure that they were like tall enough to be able to accommodate the cards. And I just had to cut them myself. So as you can see, these are 70 by 110 mm. And our tour mini PCs, again, I are 100 by 70, and they fit just right in the eight pocket sleeves. So I basically just had to cut 10 millimeters off each of the sleeves. It was tedious, but I think very well worth it just to make sure that the cards are protected, even if they there is a little bit of overhang on the side of the, of the pocket. So as you can see, I'll just flip it like this. The leftmost pocket, it's fine. I think there's a lot of... I don't know if the middle ones are just narrower. There is significant, it's much more significant overhang there. So you'll see that's where the sleeve ends and then this is where the card ends. So for me, it's just really important to sleeve it. I think out of all of this, maybe I'm just being excessive by double sleeving everything. But I think particularly for the tour PCs, because they, they are not fully covered by the pocket page, you really need to sleeve them. Um, yeah, so hopefully that helps. Just make your own sleeves if you can't find the perfect ones. <laughs> the other thing that I forgot to mention is that actually this tour mini PC size of 100 millimeters high by 70 millimeters wide is also the size of inclusion cards. And by inclusion cards, I mean those photo cards, mini photo cards that come along with merchandise. For example, army bombs. So I have here a full set of the... Uh, PCs that came with the Map of the Soul version of the Army Bomb. If you bought any of the Mots 1 merch, like the backpack and the tumbler, which we all bought because of the photo cards, no shame. Um, those PCs also are in this size, so the whole 8 pocket thing with your custom sleeves will also work for that. Now I would say the most common types of photo cards that you'll be collecting as a BTS photo card collector would be album DVD PCs and tour PCs. Those are the most number of cards that I have. Um, but having said that, as I did start to grow my own collection, I was exposed to even more sizes and even more types of photo cards. Thus, my, my storage solutions or the supplies that I've used have really a wide variety because there's quite a wide variety of cards that you need to accommodate as well. So we'll start going into, I would say, less common cards, but you know, there are things that you do need to plan for if you're planning to really growing your BTS photo card collection. So then we go into this. So this is the fifth muster guest book photo card. This is 110 millimeters by 65 millimeters. And the way I will store these is with this sleeve. So I have these 68 by 120 millimeter soft sleeves from Sleeve Kings again. And this is how it looks. Um, there is quite significant space in terms of the height, but that's okay with me. And then I'll be putting this in the Ultra Pro four pocket pages. Now, there is, as you can see, it, it's not going to occupy that entire page. That's fine with me. I'm okay with that as long as I can double sleeve it. Now, if you don't want to double sleeve, 
that's fine. So you can take this out of the soft sleeve and just have it naked like this. And they will fit perfectly in this six pocket pages by Ultra Pro again. So I'll just show you how that will look like. There, you see? Perfect. Now again, for me personally, I just want a double sleeve. That's why I won't be storing it that way, but that is open for you. And again, these Ultra Pro pages are acid-free, PVC-free, so you don't really have to double sleeve them. I am just going a little bit nuts and a little bit overboard. Plus, I already bought the soft sleeves, so anyway, I have to commit. <laughs> Now we have the 5th Muster Mood Light photo card. So remember how I mentioned earlier that most of your inclusion cards will fit the size of the mini PCs for tours? Except for this one. So yeah, um, anyway, I don't know why, but I really like these cards. I think they're so cute. This whole like Polaroid concept that they have. Even the back really looks like a Polaroid. I don't know. This is really nice. That's why I am collecting these. Anywho, I babble. So they are 100 millimeters high and then 75 millimeters wide. For these, I will be sleeving them in these sleeve kings again, 75 by 110 millimeter um, sleeves. <laughs> so this is how they look like. Again, they there is a little bit of space and the height but that's totally fine with me actually for me what's more important than this i'd prefer it to be tighter in the width just so it's hugging the card properly so it's not like sliding all over the place now for this card i'll be storing them in the ultra pro four pocket sleeves and that's how it will look like now we have the fourth muster cloud card which are 125 millimeters tall by 65 millimeters wide and for this i use these soft sleeves yeah the 88 by 125 millimeter soft sleeves from sleeve kings what are sleeve kings made i don't even know where this brand is from but okay they're made in china but okay anywho um so yeah and then these also go into the four pocket ultra pro pocket pages and that's how they look Similar to the 5th Muster Guestbook PC, they will also fit in the 6 pocket sleeves without uh, a soft sleeve. So if you're happy with you know, not double sleeving it, they will fit perfectly here. Actually, they fit great. <laughs> so that's how it'll look like in the 6 pocket sleeves. If, if you don't want to soft sleeve them, then just use this one. It's fine. And then we have the HYYH Part 1 photo cards. So these are 90 millimeters high and then 90 millimeters wide. So they are square cards. And I use these 100 by 100 millimeter uh, sleeves from Sleeve Kings. For these cards, um, just because of the layout that I am using, I will be putting them in three pocket sleeves so <laughs> this is how they'll fit and this is how they'll fit on top now the reason for that is because they are sleeved so typically you can use these as well in the you can put these as well in the four pocket ultra pro pages this is how they will look like but because of the soft sleeves that i use they won't fit but if you don't want to sleeve they'll fit here perfectly next is young forever which is another polaroid type concept for a photo card so these are 104 millimeters high uh 85 millimeters wide and the sleeves that I use for these are the 88 by 125 millimeter soft sleeves from Sleeve Kings. The way I will store them is they'll be going into these four pocket pages and they fit great. So that's how that looks. Then we have the Wings card, which is another Polaroid concept, but they are much bigger. So they are 120 millimeters high and then 100 millimeters wide. The soft sleeves that I use for these are the Sleeve Kings 102 by 127 millimeter soft sleeves. 
and I will be storing these in the three pocket Ultra Pro pages. So this is how they'll look. So they fit great in these portrait, the portrait portions of the three pocket pages. But they are too tall for that top one. And I'll make a second video where I actually build my binder. And the reason why I chose the three pockets is because I do have like fillers that will go on these top, um, the top pocket. So it'll work out but they do for fit perfectly here on the portrait one but not on the landscape what i would recommend for the wings cards is actually the four pocket pages not by ultra pro but by bcw because they are significantly wider so you'll have to take them out of the soft sleeves just put them in on their own naked and they'll fit perfectly it seems like the, these pages are like designed for the wings cards. So again, these are, this is how it looks in the BCW pocket pages. Then we have much bigger cards. <laughs> that was a significant jump in size. So this is the, what even is this? Like a big, big photo card? <laughs> Poster card? I don't know. That came with the season's greetings 2020. These are 230 millimeters high and then 150 millimeters wide. And the way I would store this is actually naked without a soft sleeve. So after all my chit chat about, oh, I need to double sleeve, blah, blah, blah. There are certain cards where I just will not. Um, and that's why I guess it's just important to use acid free everything, PVC everything, so that if you do encounter a photo card that that you don't have a soft sleeve for you can just go and put them in naked in the pocket pages without any worry so for these i'll be using those one pocket pages from ultra pro that have the lines underneath so this is how it will look so i'll be removing the sleeve that it came with when i when i actually do the the storage of these but that's how it will look those lines really do a good job of just keeping them in the middle of the of the page I'm just gonna bring that closer in case you don't see those lines well so you see they're the little stoppers at the bottom just to make sure that they don't go all the way down and they don't look really weird this will just keep them at the center of the pocket okay so still with season's greetings 2020 these are the message cards so they're the little photos with the plastic overlay with their holographic messages on them they are 100 millimeters high and then 150 millimeters wide so for these cards i use the ultra pro 4 by 6 soft sleeves and i'll be putting them in the ultra pro two pocket pages i'll just show you how that looks like So that's how it looks in the two pocket page. If you wanted an option that wasn't a two pocket page for these cards, you can also use the three pocket pages. The only issue with the three pockets is that first you have to keep them naked or will they fit? No, yeah. So you have to keep them naked and they'll fit right on the pages, on the pockets rather both in the portrait and also the landscape orientation. The only issue is that, of course, like, they'll be in different layouts, um, but that's up to you. If you're fine with that, just letting you know that they will fit in the three pocket pages naked as well. And I'm sure, yeah. They do not fit the four pocket pages of ultra pro and they are too tall for the bcw four pocket pages now for the love yourself speak yourself the final photo cards the bigger photo cards i believe 
Normally, Big Hit will release their bigger photo cards in this size. So they are 150 millimeters high by 100 millimeters wide. And I use the Ultra Pro 4x6 soft sleeves for these as well. And I'll be putting them in the two pocket pages by Ultra Pro. Now these, similar to the message cards, they are too tall for the four pocket sleeves um, of Ultra Pro and BCW, so they won't fit in those pockets. They will fit in the three pocket pages, but again, you'll have to live with uh, different layouts or different orientations, so you'll have to not sleeve them. They'll fit here, and they'll fit here in the landscape orientation pocket, but you'll have to just live with different layouts, which you might be able to live with because as you can see, some of the photos are landscape orientation and some of their photos are portrait. So for example, I'll just take JK here, which is from the same set, so you might be able to work out a solution where the three pocket page is fine with you as long as you don't need to double sleeve. And this is the Bring the Soul docu-series cards. Um, this is how they look like. These are 125 millimeters. Oops. <laughs> These are 125 millimeters high and then 185 millimeters wide. So they're huge. And I don't actually have soft sleeves that will fit this perfectly. This, so this particular sleeve is huge. And it's like probably just too short by, I don't know, like two, one or two millimeters. If you can see that little gap there. So because of that gap, I did have to, I did have to like double sleeve these prior to even putting them in pocket pages. So I use these two sleeves from clear bags. Um, so B65NF and then B75NF. And then the B65 is actually this little sleeve here, which gives a really nice tight fit, um, but it stops right there, if you can see that. So it's too short. And then that just goes in to the bigger sleeve. I'm sure I can try to find like much bigger sleeves, but for now, because they're not, I would say a standard um, photo card size for BTS, I'm just gonna be okay with the solution. And I'll be putting them in the one pocket pages by Ultra Pro again with those lines at the bottom. But yeah, that's how it looks. And it does stay in the middle quite well. Now this is the 5th Master Japan Big Lenticular cards. They are 152 millimeters high and 102 millimeters wide. The soft sleeves that I use are the Ultra Pro 4x6 soft sleeves. And these will go into two pocket pages. And they'll look like that. Now, if you don't want to double sleeve these, these, these will also fit in the three pocket pages. And actually, that will work really nicely for you because the, the set for this comes with one portrait like this, and then the other one is landscape, which is this, and that will fit nicely here. And then you can just add a little filler here, another photo card. And then a pretty random thing that I have is this Wings Tour frame and photo. It just came with a free as a freebie of one of the orders that I made from Mercari Japan. Um, anyway, so the frame is 121 millimeters high by 159 millimeters wide. The photo itself is 89 millimeters high and then 126 millimeters wide. Now for the photo, I use, I will be using, or I'm currently using, the Ultra Pro Postcard Soft Sleeves. They are big. They're too big for them, but I think they're, that's okay. As long as they fit them, they cover the entire card. And then for the frame, I have these clear bags, B4X6NFXL. So um, yeah, they just fit the frame perfectly. And then these two will be going into two pocket pages. 
So I do want to show off the little design right here. So, yep, that's how it looks. And then this will just go on top or I'll do them back to back. And then we go into some of the brand collab cards. We'll start off with Mediheal because I have the most number of photo cards from, from that collaboration. And this is actually not a photo card. So this is the little insert that comes with the Love Me masks, those heart-shaped masks that they have. So I placed an order for that. This came in, actually, like it was in the, the package. Um, and it's meant to provide just information on those sheet masks. But I thought they were so cute here. So I wanted to like just put them in a binder. So these are 125 millimeters high and 176 millimeters wide. For this, I did have to make a custom card, a custom sleeve rather. So I used these B75 NF sleeves and then I just had to trim them a little bit because if I just keep the size like this, this will not fit in the 5 by 7 pockets of the two pocket pages, which these will be placed in the two pocket pages like so. So yeah, you can, it just fits just right. So if it, if the sleeve was a little bit too big, it will not fit in those pocket pages. Again, you have the option of just keeping them naked. And then we have the Mediheal Love Me. Um, this is the photo card set. So there's quite a few cards in the set <laughs> um, that come with those sheet masks that I talked about earlier. So these are 103 millimeters high by 150 millimeters wide. And the soft sleeves that I use for these are the 4x6 Ultra Pro soft sleeves. And these will go into the two pockets. If you don't want to double sleeve them, they will fit naked in the three pocket sleeves and the four Nope, not the four pocket actually. So they're too big for the four pocket pages of both Ultra Pro and BCW. Now we have these really big Mediheal BTS cards. So this comes as a whole set. All of the cards in this set are portrait orientation and they're 175 millimeters high and 105 millimeters wide. These I will keep naked. It's okay. And I'll keep them in the two pocket sleeves like so. And this is the VT Cosmetics uh, clear card. So they're clear. Um, they're 150 millimeters high and 100 millimeters wide. I use the Ultra Pro 4x6 soft sleeves for these. And these will be going into the two pocket pages. Like so. The VT Cosmetics clear cards will also fit in the three pocket pages without sleeves so they'll fit right here and they'll fit in the landscape orientation pocket as well um, but you'll just have to be okay with different orientations for the cards and lastly we have the samsung bug buds bugs <laughs> Samsung Buds Big Lenticular. Um, these are 148 millimeters high and 105 millimeters wide. Now for the sleeves that I use for these, I use the Clear Bags B4X6 and FXL sleeves and then they will be going into the two pocket pages as well. So these cards even without sleeves will not fit in any of the four pocket pages that I have, uh, whether that be Ultra Pro or BCW, and they also don't fit in the three pocket pages. Cool. So we just went through all the different types of cards that I will be storing in my binder system. I hope that was useful. Um, I again, it's not. I'm not saying that those are all the types of photo cards that BTS has, but I think it gives you a good variety. And hopefully the information that I gave on which sleeves and which pocket pages would fit um, those cards would help you. So thanks for bearing through us going through or me going through all the different photo cards that I will be putting in my binder system, talking about the different soft sleeves and pocket pages that will work with each type of card.
In terms of purchasing the supplies, I buy them from a variety of places. So for the sleeves, there are quite a few sellers here in Singapore. And I'm sure wherever you are, you can find sellers who sell these types of sleeves. Ultra Pro is a brand that's carried by a lot of different distributors around the world. You can find them on Amazon. I personally here in Singapore have found them on Shopee. Um, these types of cards are sorry of sleeves like the kmc one sleeve kings i found specifically in um what are they called yeah gaming stores so the ones that either sell board games and sell these little sleeves that that protect the cards in the board game so so for example that's why for the sleeve kings one you'll see that this 70 by 110 millimeter sleeves it'll say like magnum lost cities card sleeves I suppose Magnum Lost Cities is a board game, so um, these cards were designed for that. So I would encourage you to be creative and really go, or actually be a little bit specific and go into those like gaming shops that provide a lot of these supplies that store cards because first they're gonna be of good quality, they're gonna offer a wide variety of sizes and they are going to be most of the time acid free and pvc free because again they're meant to preserve those those cards these particular bags are actually from a brand in the u.s called clear bag so i just order them from their website and they deliver to singapore i'm sure they deliver to a bunch of other places as well and i i really like them they're they're good quality again acid free pvc free my favorite sleeves actually are these just because they're really nice and thick um they're very clear you can see through the cards very well um and yeah they're just they're just really great sleeves i don't like the ultra pros as much just because they are a lot flimsier but that's okay because i'm double sleeving anyway sleeve kings are also really great because they are thicker they even like are really proud of that that they have it on the packaging so it says 60 microns 50 percent thicker compared to other standard thickness brands so anyway so yeah um go to amazon go to your if you're in asia go to lazada go to shopee find those like gaming shops that offer those um archival sleeving supplies and you'll be able to find all of these different kinds of sleeves now when it comes to pocket pages so i primarily will be using ultra pro um most of my sleeves are ultra pro except for those like four pocket pages from bcw and for these i have two places where i got them from so one is amazon and on amazon they came in this pack which are a hundred pages you guys so that's a lot um i it was very economical to to buy these rather than buying them by sheets so for the cards or sorry for the pages that i will be i know i'll be using a lot of i just decided to to buy a 100 pack box but not everyone needs 100 pages of each type and as you can see we do need quite a few layouts of the pocket pages so for those that you don't need a hundred pages for I would recommend finding sellers resellers in wherever you live who sell the pages loose so for me for example um, these four pocket pages the three pocket pages I went on carousel on Singapore which is a plat a marketplace online marketplace platform and there were a bunch of sellers there who were selling them by the sheet so you can just tell them exactly how many sheets you want and then they'll send them to you they're still at a good price um, and at least you don't have like a hundred imagine if you had like a hundred of each of these sizes that's a lot that's a lot to keep and maybe eventually you'll need it but you don't need them for all the different layouts so um yeah so go and go to your online marketplaces and whatever is relevant in your country and try to find sellers who will sell who do sell the pages loose so anyway that's the end of this video i hope you found that useful i did really want to go in depth with the different supplies and the different photo cards uh, that BTS has. I just found that to be very useful because it was the kind of information that I was looking for when I 
started to design and plan the the binder that I am setting up for my BTS photo cards. This is an accumulation of information from all the different YouTube videos out there, from googling, you know, what works and from actually trying out the different sleeves and pages for all these different cards. I hope you found that useful um, and I hope you guys enjoyed that somehow after all my little babbling of millimeters and sleeves and pocket pages. So um, yeah, so I'll see you in my next video which will actually be where I'll be setting up the binder itself and putting all of these photo cards that I have in the binder system that I will be making. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!